the April Fool's Greenville update is now out, and uh, it's this car right here. That's all they dropped. Anyway, after about an hour of the new car troll and many angry Greenville players following, the real update dropped. First noticeable touch is the new Greenville logo on the loading screen and the game icon. Basically a parody of the 2018-2019 Greenville logo with an E dropped, so it's Greenville now. Raining tacos can also be heard in the background as the new intro music for today. Not seen most of the April Fool's vehicles yet, so I'm here to check them out with Gabe. Mostly first impressions. Yeah, I haven't seen them either. Oh my gosh, the Windstar is still on the top. Dude, the Fox Mountain. So you got the Fox Mountain, a go-kart. What even is this? Is it just like a convertible? Is this tiny? Oh, that's cool. On the normal image, it doesn't look weird at all. It just looks like a convertible. I'm excited to see what that's about. The 2023 Andre Buddy. What the heck? Oh, I think I've seen this before. One flipped. This isn't even limited. That's the only non-limited besides this right here. The beater trim of the GLC is back. Probably one of the most out-of-the-box beaters that was ever in the game. Then we also got the T-Rex Katie Line Edition uh, with the pink accents. Not the greatest vehicle I've ever seen, but... Uh, no. Then what I'd say is the best vehicle in the entire update, even though I haven't actually checked any of it out. The lifted 2022 5th gen Ram. It is so cool, dude. It's the first ever proper lifted truck in game. It's like a show truck. Let's go All for right. the go-kart. I'll get it in red, because why All not? Right. Tops out at 77 miles per hour, so it's not the speediest. That's pretty fast for how tiny it is. Where are my cars? What? Are they gone? I opened my garage and there's nothing. <laughs> what? Mine's fine. Mine is not. So my money is just infinitely loading. And then <laughs> garage, there's nothing. You might want to rejoin and see if that fixes. Yeah. All right, back with the Windstar. How are you enjoying this? Oh, that's great. It's really nice. The model's just perfect. The lights are my favorite parts, just like GB3. I love that you can see every, like, curve on the car. Probably one of the best models in game. Do you have your vehicles loaded back? Yes. Ooh, the engine. They even have a little license plate. That's so tiny. That's cool. Guess it's street legal in Wisconsin. I'm going to start it up. What does it sound like? <laughs> That's a CBT. <laughs> this is wonderful. It even has two pedals modeled out here. Steering wheel works and all. It looks like a sim wheel, though. Yeah, kind of. That's so weird. I can see my tires in the first person view. Yeah. Brakes are so sensitive. Let's see how fast this thing accelerates. Oh my gosh! Traction off. Uh, no launch whatsoever. But it was a thought that counts. That's 60. This is actually really quick. Yeah, imagine driving this in real life. I feel pretty insane. Oh! Oh my gosh! That is pretty good braking. I'm gonna turn on my headlights here. This thing is so weird looking. It doesn't even have turn signals, I don't think. Turn signals are non-existent. Brights? Oh, it does have brights, but where does it come from? Oh, it's that light bar in the front. <laughs> what are the real headlights then? That's very confusing. If the FRP speed's 80, you would never go over. And they're pretty safe. Yeah, definitely. Because if you get into a crash in one of these... Probably you... have the engine like slam into you, but... <laughs> yeah, but other than that, I'd what would that so. be though? Like moderate overlap, full front overlap, or like rear, maybe side? I think just overlap everywhere. It'd get five stars either way. Let me go to Tires Plus, see if you can put anything on here. Let's see if I can break a dime. Yeah, I can. <laughs> it's the closest you'll probably ever get to drifting one. Let's see here. All right, I'm just going to put these for now. Um, I wonder if I can drive this through a store. Dude, let's try that. Oh, no, I can't put custom rims. No. Not like it matters that much, but, you That's know. That's why? Yeah. Go on the other side. I'll try this side. Oh. 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 I'm, like, stuck. I'm just going to come full speed. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Dang it. It might be the collisions on the side there. Yeah. I don't think you can get it in. Wait, can you spawn it in here, actually? Can you? Magic. Yeah! <laughs> Go around this course here. This would be a fun little uh, racetrack, you know? These are really good shopping carts. They don't really have much storage space, but... Oh, this would be really good for, like, if you had a kid or something so they can drive around while you're shopping. How fast can I get in one of these stores? I just have to be very careful to not hit anything. I'm gonna get up right against the wall and go! Oh, dang it, I already crashed it. Uh, Try again. <laughs> Try it the other direction this time. Don't fail me, don't fail me. It failed me. I'm just gonna go take fast travel to the dealership. All right. Next up, I'm probably gonna get the oh, limited yeah. fifth gen. What color are you getting? I'm just gonna get it in the normal blue. I'm gonna get it white. I have too many fifth gens, where is it? Oh, right here. Whoa. These things are beasts, dude. Dude. 
The first ever stance truck in GV. Doggo was gonna do this for the lifted Tahoe, the Dark Wolf edition, but it didn't work. But now I guess he figured out how to stance wheels properly. Polished exhaust tip. Okay, I'm really excited to hear the sounds on this thing. <laughs> Those wheels as well, they look like something you'd actually see on a show truck. Oh my gosh! This thing is definitely tuned up a bit. Does this have launch control? Yes, it does. And here we go. That thing squats down so much. All right, hit the brakes up here. Oh! Actually pretty darn good for a lifted truck. Has a second gen turbo manifold on it. It moves for sure. That's pretty much all you need to know. Oh, oh! Just crashed my brand new show truck. That's startup. I'm gonna park next to this Beetle here for size comparison. I think it's safe to say that they're pretty large trucks. Honestly, I think the white goes pretty well on yours. Yeah, I like it with the chrome. Oh! <laughs> I might need to call it tow. All right, next vehicle, I'm just gonna get the GLC Beater. All the other ones are still here, but you know, the Beater is by far the coolest one. Been here for about two years, but it was removed the last update with the remodel of this car. Now it's returned. I'm just gonna put AMG wheels on it. Here it is. I'm just gonna take it in its full glory. First thing I noticed, the Mercedes logo is literally taped on and it's yeah. still not properly in place. The hood is latched shut. How do you even get this bad in a barely six year old car? And when this first was added to the game, it was like a three year old car. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> the wheel is different. You can't even see that. In the preview, it's on the other side. My fender as well is not the right shade. Probably yeah, should call the body shop. Probably need to call a lot of people for this thing. That is oh, look true. look at the mirror. I don't need mirrors, by the way. I'm all good. Wow. The hatch is also strapped on. It's got two different colored straps. Apparently, I was not rich enough to find two in the same color. It still has a backup camera. Does it work, though? That's the real question. Yeah. I don't know if this thing works at all, honestly. I just realized, look, the hatch is not even centerized. That's a really cool detail. That's cool. The rear bumper is replaced, but apparently I already crashed it. So that's my bad. Back door here also was improperly repainted. And there are various scents all around my brand new six-year-old DLC that I already ruined. Headlights fogged up. The hood is not aligned either. And you can kind of see the headlight housing back there. I'm glad they replaced one headlight, but not this one. Probably because I crashed it even more. Because look at the dent here. Oh, yeah. I probably wrecked into something and cracked it. But yeah, let's go for a ride in my new car. Man. My old car. Please don't crash it. No promises. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Yeah, need a new timey bump. I also have Hyper Flash. All of these are supposed to blink, if I'm not mistaken, but it's only some of them. The other side is like that too? Oh, it's different ones that are out. I'm gonna assume the hatch just doesn't have it plugged in at all. Oh, no, it does. Look, I have a reverse light, but only one, one of them. little reverse. That's my GLC, guys. Really nice. I got a good deal on it. I'm still paying it off and the loan in about 20 years. And then- Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, it'll be all mine for about, I think it's about 200 grand with interest. Mm, not bad. I know a guy who definitely take that deal. My high beams work? Oh wait, they're on right now. I guess it answers that question. I just can't really tell because all the lights on this car on the dash, they don't really work. I mean, they do work. It's lit up right now. It's Christmas, I think. All right, let's see. Does my, uh, my GLC base model have launch control? Oh, yeah, it definitely does. All right, traction off. Ooh! How far do you think it'll take until I hit 100? Probably like right as you get to bulk. Nope. And that's 100. Brakes! About the same as the lifted truck, I think. Oh yeah, also something I didn't even note. Basically what I have to do, since my hatch is strapped down and everything, I don't want to have to take the straps off, of course, every single time I go and put something in the back. I just open my door here, which don't ask what happened with the window. That's a story I'll tell another time. I get in the back here and I just throw my stuff back there. That's how I do oh, that's it. That's actually nice. Yeah, it's a convenient okay. way. It's kind of a nice feature. Not very many Mercedes have that. Yeah. Oh, I just realized it's smoking. Oh, yeah. Might want to get that checked out. Do you think it's of concern or do you think I can keep going? You can probably keep going for another 50,000 miles. Right now, it's only at uh, 380K, I think. Not bad. This car is really nice condition, so I don't think I want to mess it up anytime soon. Oh! We're going to have to call a tow for this. I don't even think you can start again. All right, let me bang on the engine. All right. Oh! Oh, there we go. Start it. Oh, let's go. Let's make it back to the dealership. And I'm trading this in on a new random April Fool's car. It shut off on me. <sighs> Maybe you should hit a tree or something and start it back up. Oh, it started back up. Just hit an invisible tree on my end. Oh, I just shut down. Think we can make it to the dealership? I'm going to try. Come on, GLC. You can do this. If it has to go in the water, it has to go in the water. If it does, it's at the dealership. They can take it. Yep, it's yeah. on their lot. Oh, it's sinking down. 
I mean, it's pretty much the same thing as this Mercedes right here. <laughs> oh yeah! I uh, I didn't realize that. They can just replace this one with mine. Nobody even yeah. noticed the difference. I mean, if they wanted to just keep it in the water, you can barely sell. I'm gonna go talk to the dealership people. I'm gonna try to trade this thing in on like a new, what should I buy next? Cause they got a couple offers going on. I don't know, they have a nice little mini car. There's two different trims. Yeah. Oh, there's three. The Buddy trim for $8,470, the Tonic trim for $9,773, and the Orange trim for $8,903. I'll get it in Buddy Blue as I have a lot of options as you can see. Does it even have two yeah. seats? Oh, it does. This thing is so tiny. There's no startup time at all. What is this top out at? Okay. All right. Keep going. I don't think it'll keep going. <laughs> no. This is a very slow drive. How fast can this thing actually go? Oh, oh, downhill. Okay, okay. 33 miles an hour. 34. That was crazy. Brakes are really good. Let's try a 0 to 28 in braking test, guys. Oh, it does have launch control, I think. 29. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. This thing's sending. We're really moving right now. Supercar killer, really. What kind of movie should we watch before we do the braking test? Um, I think we're at oh, a destination. Finally. I think it passed. Best um, braking test ever. I don't know how two people can fit in here. Because I can't even fit in here width-wise in the first place. So, uh, those doors have to be really thin. Hazards, headlights, and high beams. Is it AB? Oh, it does! Let's do an AB test on this thing. Oh my gosh! Best AB in the game, dude. You wanna ditch this with a Mercedes? Floats on the water. All right, what now? I think let's save the best for last, the blocky car. I'm not even gonna get the KD Line TRX. You guys already know what it's like. It's just an appearance difference. But if you want that, you can buy it for $101,000. Or for exactly $100,000 flat, you can get this thing, which I think is a tiny car. It looks like it from the preview. I never got one of the normal ones of these, so it'll be interesting to see how this is different. Here they are, two tiny Western Motors SUVs. Exactly what I expected to be, pretty much. This interior is kind of futuristic. Does anything light up on the screen? Let me start it up. <laughs> Nothing's on screen. All right, rev it up. Brights are... What the heck? That's the old GV3 decal. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Weird. Oh, it's got a CVT as well. 75, not too bad. I think it's the same tune as the oh. go karts. I'd assume so. Three, two, one, go. Put my cruise here. Why is that plane going so slow? Break! All right, time for the last vehicle in the update here. The Fox Mountain Motors Ranger. This right here is a fictional truck Hunter made probably over half a decade ago out of Roblox parts, even before Greenville itself was created. It's also what the Fox Mountain Bank and Clinic were named after. This thing is definitely out there unlike any other vehicle in game. And this is for $100,000 exactly. One trim, one rim option. Here's how they look up close. They are very eye-catching vehicles indeed. It's quite the uh, interesting automobile. Crew cab, short bed. That's a very short bed. There's not any room between the wheel well and the uh, the cab there. Start it up. What's it got in here? Ooh. That pops in the startup. Oh, that was some subtle pops too. A CVT. Yeah, another one. We got a couple CVTs in this update. This has quite the brakes. Let's look at this thing rock back. All right, let's get an interior view here. My seat is in the way of my view. Ooh, wow, this is beautiful. You got the steering wheel here. I don't know if I even have pedals, do I? I do have pedals, but it's like in my foot. Are right, you ready to race? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Honestly, just looking at these two driving around, it gives GV like a completely different feel. It doesn't fit at all, but it's kind of funny. You ready to brake? Now that we've gone over the vehicles in this update, definitely an interesting selection to say the least. Besides that though, there were a few minor changes, one of which I have to go drive to see. It's gonna take me a long time at 34 miles an hour, but I'm gonna do it. The shadow, so blocky. <laughs> yeah. And you can see the wheel well, the open wheel well. All right, almost reaching the destination here. We are very close. All right, finally rolling up. That took a while. All just to see this new covered parking canopy in the apartment parking lot. Yep, that's about it. This one's out here in the back. Then there's two in the middle of the apartments and the final is out front. And since I drove all this way, I guess I'll give my truck a bit of a break and let it sit under the new covered parking. Got this thing parked up here. Might do a quick photo shoot actually. And... 
There we go. All right. Next, if you go on any police team, Wisconsin State Patrol for demonstration, you've got a new tool, caution tape. Just click pretty much anywhere down low to start the tape at, then somewhere else nearby to connect it to. You can even do it on vehicles too. And finally, somewhat returning from last year, you have a 1 in 50 chance for your screen to have a special tint on it throughout your play duration until you leave that server. Last year it was either black and white or red, but this year they've changed it to blue, yellow, pink. Whatever man, just keep bringing me that. And with that, that's the beginning of the April Fool's update review. Make sure to stay tuned for the update dropping later yesterday, including 150 of Greenville players' most wanted cars ever.